Good morning, day 58. Wow, 58 days. Well, I've come to the conclusion. The universe doesn't like order. The universe is abundant and chaotic and ever-expanding, and some of us are right there with it. <laughs> oh, well. Sometimes you just have to make a mess before things get better. And my closet, yes, it's a candle closet. I absolutely love, love, love candles and the ambiance that they bring. But my candle collection has turned into uh, a mini hoard. It's not horrible, but... And then I have so many vases. Why do I have so many vases? Well, first coffee, and then I'll show you the stuff that I've pulled out of my candle closet. So it's a lot of stuff. Don't judge. I'm trying to do better. And I'm getting rid of a lot of it. And this is not the first time I've decluttered this closet in 20 years. It's the second or third but it was way overdue and so actually my um, plan to pretend I'm moving is going pretty well but first All let's right, have some folks help. this is my candle vase and small appliance closet so I've been cleaning out these shelves I want to move these small appliances over here, but I have a lot of stuff pulled out already that I want to give to donation, but I just wanted to document what I had before. So I don't have any plans on getting rid of my small appliances. I also keep my vacuum cleaner in here and some cleaning supplies, so that's another thing I want to put in there. And then these are all candle scent things, and so I need to clean that up and organize it. So I just drifted into here, and now here I am. And this goes all the way up there. Reorganizing this. This might take a couple days, but this is the before, and I'll show you the after later. in my candle closet. I have all these little oil lamps. I'm going to save these for if there's a power outage. And this is a oil lamp you refill. And I do have um, lamp oil. So I found those. I'm going to keep those in a shoe box. And then I found this little kit of, I didn't realize it had incense. And it's a little wax burner. And it has this these incenses. Incenses? Whatever it is. And then it has this one with these long incense things. And a little wooden leaf. That'd be cute, kind of tied around there. I think you're supposed to stick it on. But the sticky doesn't work anymore. So I found that in my stash, and I had originally got that for at Big Lots for $8.99, but it wasn't doing me any good in the closet. So now I'm burning a little bit of incense. I think it's still on, and it smells really good. So it'll be a zen kind of atmosphere. All right, well... Back to the treasure hunt. In one day, but these are vases and candles and all sorts of things. So I need to put some of this back in, in my closet and some of it is going into the donation. I have a box of donation here. I have a whole bunch of donation things here. So, uh, yeah, so, but I have a mess going. Can you see that back there? That's my kitchen table. 
donation box, donation box. This one's almost full. This one's half full. Mostly vases, but I did find some treasures in my candle closet too. And I was thinking, why am I not using this? Why is this stuck in this closet? So I'm shopping my candle closet. And um, I've come to the conclusion the Dollar Tree, ugh, I love those little mason jar candles, but I find myself keeping all those jars because I think, well, I could make jelly, I could make this, I could make that. You see, when you have a creative mind, it's always working. It's always working. And a lot of people that don't have that... Um, they don't see what we see. <laughs> By we, I mean artistic people that um, have to create something. A lot of people are perfectly happy just, you know, putting their house together and, and, and cleaning it. And, and a lot of times cleaning is their thing, which is great. Sometimes I wish I had that thing, but I don't. I mean... I've always had a clean house, and let me emphasize the had, because now it's the have not. So, but anyway, yep, the process has started. I found these two, and I'm going to burn these. Sometimes I buy candles, and they're too pretty to burn. So these are two pies. This one actually comes with a neat rustic tin. And this one is, I think, a pecan pie with just a aluminum tin. But I'm thinking, they're in that closet. I paid good money for it. Why not enjoy it and burn it? So that's what I'm going to do. And then I can always use the pie tin. That I'll keep. Or I could make another pie-ish candle. Just put a bunch of wicks in and pour the wax in. I always make candles anyway, so why not? So anyway, yes, this is my, mostly those are vases. And there's a bunch of vases in there I'm getting rid of. And a bunch of little vases and votive holders in here that I'm getting rid of. So I've got the, um, we have a, there's a website called DonateStuff.com. And um, I like that because they they have a um, you can choose what charity you want to donate to, and they have one for senior dogs, so that's the one I always choose. But they have veterans and and all kinds of things on there, and that's also a really good cause. So anyway, this is my day today. I'm staying home, um, and I'm going to get rid of at least half of what I have because I keep telling myself, oh no, that is not going back in the closet. And now that I have my small appliances, I was able to put most of those on the permanent shelving in there. I'm really liking it because I can get to them. My uh, food processor is in there, my um, Vitamix is in there, and I don't use them because I have to dig my way in to get to them. So I'm trying to make life simpler and really think about the things that I use and how am I going to get to them and how am I going to use them. So that's the process I'm in right now. And, uh, you know, if you have a lot of stuff, don't be afraid of it. You know, I mean, it's stuff. You know, you can either keep it, you have a choice, you can either keep it or get rid of it. But don't let it get to the point where you're so overwhelmed that you're just turning in circles like on a hamster wheel and and you don't know which direction to go and if you have that problem enlist some friends some non-judgmental friends not friends that are going to come in and eye roll and you know make statements of oh what were you thinking and blah 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 that's not helpful not helpful at all so and if you can't find any friends that aren't judgmental. I mean, I have plenty of friends that are judgmental. But 
if you can't find any friends that are judgmental, consider hiring somebody. There, there are people out there that, that um, that's their profession. They, they, you know, declutter. And try to break the process down into small bits, like eat the elephant one bite at a time. So anyway, I'm going to work a little on this now, make some decisions, and uh, oh, there's more clutter. This isn't this isn't it. I have more. Um, so I'll take you along with me today periodically and show you what I'm doing. All right, but first, cheers, coffee, and I'll see you in a little bit. I wanted to add a footnote, and it's if if you have. A room that's a mess uh, whether you're decluttering or you've had a party and the whole room's a mess what I like to do so that I'm not standing in the middle of the room just with the deer in the headlights look I like to work my way clockwise in that room I start at one corner finish that move along and I like to go clockwise and then either start in the middle or it's probably better to just leave the middle for last but that's my process and you might find that helpful for you too if you're if you have a big project or if you have a room with a lot of clutter and if you don't finish it all in one day so what you know hopefully you have another day to work on it so um just think in small terms, not in the whole picture, because then you'll become overwhelmed. You'll grab your coffee and go sit in the recliner and turn the TV on and throw your hands up and say, forget it, this is good enough. And sometimes it is, but, so that was just a little footnote I wanted to add, and hopefully you find that helpful. Brunch, day 58. Let's see what's going to be cooking in Ellen's kitchen. All right. Well, I still have yogurt and grapes, but it's kind of chilly today. So I don't feel like having something cold. I think I'm going to make these biscuits. Yep, I'm going to make the biscuits. And I'm going to maybe have some of my homemade jam and butter and maybe I'll have some more of this cheese. This is really good, you guys. If you have an Aldi's, I don't know if this is a specialty item. But uh, it's really a nice selection of cheese, extra sharp white cheddar, Havarti, Gouda, and Asiago. All my favorites. So anyway, I'm going to have that on biscuit. I still have bread down here, but these biscuits need to be cooked too. I still have this fitness bread that my mom gave me. So lots of bread, lots of cheese. Still lots of everything. All right. I'm going to bake these. And I'll show you them. You've all seen biscuits, but that's what's for all breakfast. Right. Here it is. Breakfast day 58. Making progress. I decided to keep one shoebox full of little votive things for tea lights. Because I'm always looking for those. And these can go in some of the little things I have hanging outside. So I am uh, I forget which YouTuber it is, but she says to, when you're decluttering, get yourself a box, fill up the box with what you want, and that's all you can keep. So I'm sort of following that plan. So just a small shoe box full of that. And I thought these were cute, like for Valentine's Day and things like that. I thought I'd keep those. 
So over here I have two full boxes that I'm getting rid of and these are brand new but I'm not going to use those. I have other candle holders that I like way better so I'm going to donate those. This box is full and these are the things I'm going to keep probably. I know it still looks like a lot but I have a reason why I'm keeping what I'm keeping. Now I like these uh, mosaic glass things a lot. So I don't have a ton, but I have some and they kind of all go together. This is like a little oil lamp, um, so I definitely want to keep that. And these are different vases and candle holders. And I like the amber color. And the reason I'm keeping Different bouquets are different sizes, so um, I'm keeping a variety of openings. And then I have a couple glass ones, like a bud vase. I have a couple different shapes of bud vases, and I do use those, and I use this. So this I'm keeping, unless it doesn't all fit on my shelf in which case I'm having one shelf for vases um, and if they don't fit then I'll have to downsize a little more so these are all amber colored and then I have these candles that sometimes I used to like stage my dining room table where I would put you know like candle coffee cups and things like that just to decorate and I thought it was fun I haven't done that in a long time and then I already showed you the the pies I'm going to burn those up and this is for floating candles and I really like it um, so I'm keeping that and periodically I'll put it on my kitchen table because I do have a candle there all the time and I still like that I like this little bud vase. I'm only keeping like one of each size. And then this I'll probably turn into a candle again. So, and I like orange, lots of orange in my kitchen, so I'm keeping this one with the copper thing, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm keeping just a few clear glass ones. Now this one I'm keeping because this little lid fits on top of it. Otherwise I wouldn't keep that, but you know, you can put things in there. Then this one, these candles are just stacked on here. But this uh, bigger one, I'm keeping, I'm putting stones on the bottom just for bigger, fatter candles like this. Or I thought I could even make it like into a little terrarium with either fake plants or real plants, so I'm keeping that. And see, I do have a plan for these things. Um, I have a lot of these floating candles that I can put in here too. And then I have these little uh, cup-like things. That's what they're made for. You put tea lights in there. So I'm keeping those. And over here, I'm keeping just a couple of, this one I'm keeping because I have this frog that you can put in there, and it looks really pretty with hydrangeas, and I have hydrangeas outside, so I'm keeping that. So just a couple of clear vases. This one I use quite often, actually. Um and I keep those glass marbles in there again to use like as a frog. Um, this one I use quite often. This one I really like the shape of and again if you have hydrangeas you just put two in there with the glass beads. Now this one I was on the fence about but what I'm going to do I also found this everlasting elegance it, it makes the, um, the clear um, water, permanent water, so I'm going to make an arrangement out of this one with, with a spring summer bouquet. So that's what I'm keeping and hopefully it all fits on my shelf and uh, we'll see. Alright, and here is where I have all my candles. 
Um, so these are all candles. And I'm not getting rid of those because I'm going to burn them or melt them or whatever because I don't want to spend more money on candles. I already have them. So these will go on a, on a different shelf. So um, I'm keeping these and I organize them into shoe boxes and things. So um, that works out fine. Now this is a juicer I have. I'm getting rid of that because I have two. A company sent me one um, that uh, I did a demo on actually. I have a video on that somewhere. But anyway, I don't need to. I had this one before I got that one, so I'm getting rid of one. These boxes are actually my daughter's from Christmas. She doesn't have room for them right now, so I'm just hanging on to them for her. And then this is my working candle drawer. It's where I keep my votives that I burn every day, and my um, or my tea lights and my votives. These are from the Dollar Tree, and I also keep some just scents, scented things in there. And I also have these uh, lighters that I have in my stash because you never know when you're going to need a fire. So anyway, um, these will be going, this stays in my living room, and these will be going in the, back in the candle closet and get used up. Okay, so this is where all this is going to go, all my lighters and working candles, and I'll refill that from my candle closet. So now that my grandson is up, I can put some of this stuff away in the closet. And I'll show okay, you that. Okay, friends, here's round number two. This was what was all in that door. So now I'm going to declutter that. I got my candle shelf all done. I got my vase shelf all done. But I'm going to wait to show you that until the whole closet is done. So not too much longer. I don't know if I'll finish this today or tomorrow, but it's getting there. I'm so excited. All right, I'm all done. It took me two days, but I'm so happy I got that done. So here we go. So this is my landing to go in the basement. I cleaned that up too. I had a big pile of stuff here. Got rid of all that. Um, and I keep some of my cleaning things here. Might as well show you this while I'm at it, too. This is my stairwell um, pantry, and I have a lot of sugar and uh, soy nuggets and soy flour and, uh, sh uh, I said sugar, uh, nutritional yeast, TVP, all kinds of baking flours, different ones, gluten-free. And these are all containers from the cashews that Aldi's um, has. So I have those and then this. So I use all this in my cooking. And then down the stairs here, I have water stored. So And this is just random stuff that I need to put away. But anyway, um, yeah, this was all full of my cleaning things, and I cleaned those up. How'd I do, Lizzie? Does it look good? Did I do a good job? All right, no, you're not going down there. Come on. They love to run in the basement and do who knows what. Okay, here we go. All right. So I got the door all cleaned up. Now, these are fancy candles. They look like a cake and pie and and uh, I don't know I may burn those or I don't know what I'm going to do but I'm not throwing away any candles. Candles are something that to me is useful. I burn a lot of them and uh, it's something that you can use if there's a power outage so I'm not getting rid of any candles. So I kept the fancy votives, and there's just a few there, a candle warmer. Then here I have my candle-making supplies. 
the wicks and things like that and some of the um, the melts I add I like to add those to the candles that I remake and down here I have my lamp oil and gel oil again in case there's a power outage or I may just want to burn it and then down here I put my cleaning supplies that were just all crammed up over here so now those are nice and neat so the door is all done and then in here I got everything put where I wanted it now up here I just have um, things I don't use very often or things that I might want to use as a gift they're brand new um, these are all my vases and they all fit I didn't have to get rid of them uh, I, I got rid of a lot of them but these are the ones I wanted to keep and it goes back there this is my candle shelf and these are all candles that I want to burn up and not buy any more candles except tea lights those I will buy when I run out so and then on this shelf I was able to put my uh, some of my small appliances I've got my Vitamix that's very accessible another little uh, slow cooker and uh, not slow cooker instant pot that's an aroma it's a rice cooker and an instant pot this is a smoker I bought that I've never used but now I can get to it it's very heavy um, and down here I have more candles and a dough mixer like I said I want to keep all my appliances so the stool isn't going to stay there I just needed that to get up and down so everything is very accessible I can just walk in and get what I need up here I have batteries and supplies for birthday parties is that's what what's in those so there's really nothing to get rid of there they just live there and I have my other small appliances that I never use because I couldn't get to them I have some batteries my bread maker that was in the hall here so that's back where it belongs and it's heavy and down here I have some more cleaning supplies and then this is my vacuum that lives here too so I got it all done I'm very happy with it some people might say oh you still have too much stuff but it wasn't my goal to become a minimalist I wanted this as a functional closet that I could use things and like I said I have all these candles and I tend to just go in and buy more so this way I can use them up all right so there we have it and I'm going to go put my feet up and relax a little bit oh over here too I bought this little thing down in Amish country and it's just a very rustic very narrow shelf and in here I keep extra spices so these are all spices so yep I have a lot of food now things like this I'm going to use but I it's not my goal to use everything up I just I will replace spices as I need them but I don't want them to go bad either so let me back up here and see if maybe we can get another view of my closet so there it is and this is another vacuum that I use to clean the couch and things like that that one I use for the floor so there we have it I'm so happy I got that done so now I won't need to do that again for another year or so and hopefully 
my candles will be a lot fewer okay, by then. Dinner day 58. Boy, am I glad I have some leftovers. That was a lot of work cleaning up all that stuff. And, whoops, I'm going to eat my stew from the other day. It's actually probably enough for two meals. I can't eat all that, but that'll work. All right, I'll meet you over at the stove. Hey, my friends, dinner day 58. Biscuit with butter and some stew. And I'm going to call that good. All right, my friends, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.